I want us to turn to Luke chapter 10 and 11. And as we look at this passage, I want to read a verse to you to start off with, where it says in verse 1, it happened that while Jesus was praying in a certain place, after he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John also taught his disciples. Notice the disciples did not say, Lord, teach us to preach. Lord, teach us to teach us to teach, teach us to heal. No, they said, teach us to pray. Because just like us, they had the same struggles even back in the New Testament times when they were walking with Jesus. Can you imagine them walking along with Jesus and how many times they had it in their mind to even to ask Jesus for something right then, and they didn't do it? How many times did that happen? He said, Lord, Lord, teach us to pray. And in the original Greek language, the idea is, Lord, teach us to pray now. There's a desperation here involved in their request. And so as we look at this, I want to break it down logically. I want us to see why we should pray. And then secondly, why we don't pray. And thirdly, what's the solution? In other words, I want to look at the value, the vacuum, and the victory involved in this. 